Well, hello, Rock family and listeners out there. We are here for another episode of our podcast. Uh, we are very excited. I'm here with Pastor Dan. Hey, everybody. And uh, also, we have another special guest. I'll let Pastor Dan introduce him. Well, uh, many of our ladies have had the pleasure over the years at our girls' night outs to listen to the violin played by Mr. John Wineglass. And John is here with us today, and uh, we, are, we just couldn't be more excited to have you here, John. It's great to be here. And uh, we're, just, we're just looking forward to what's going to take place. Uh, 2016 Girls' Night Out, you're here again, and we wanted to capitalize on that opportunity and just get to know you a little bit better, uh, kind of ask some of the questions. I know they always ask you some questions on stage hear about your life, but uh, we wanted to take some time with you. Just sit down and hear more about what's going on in your life. There's some exciting things coming up that we'll talk about, but why don't you just tell us about your family? I know you've got your family up there in Monterey, and tell us about what currently uh, you're doing. Well, I, I'm a composer, a musician, um, and uh, I have one daughter, and I have my wife, uh, Denise, of, of 18 years coming up. Wow, congratulations. And I have a high schooler. so we're A high schooler. Now, now yeah. you got to tell me, being a dad of a high schooler, how crazy is that? It's nuts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's nuts. But it's, it's, it's good. Uh, she's doing well. She's just got her grades back, and she's really acclimated to high school well, and then it's, it's going well, really well. Very good. Now, is she uh, musically inclined like, like mom and dad are? She plays drums, and she plays key, uh, keyboards. Keyboards, okay. Keyboards. But she's more of a graphic artist oh, cool. type. And ah. It's the go to Cal's, um, uh, the place that with Pixar. Uh, Cal Arts? It? Is Cal it? Arts, yes. Yeah. That's, yeah, thank awesome. you. Yeah, so that's that's her goal right now. Oh, that's excellent. Uh, that's exciting to hear. And then uh, you're also actively involved in your church. You yes. play the the keyboards, and your wife sings. And yeah, I work with uh, two different churches in in, in the area: uh, Fairline Community Church and Compass Church. Um, and I split my time between those two and uh, other ministry opportunities all over, and uh, and have a great time. I. I uh, one place I serve as a musical director, the other one as more of a contractor and uh, helping build ministries there. Oh, that's wonderful. Now tell me, how many instruments do you play? Um, in the studio, um, viola, violin, and piano, I, I would, I would, or an organ, you know, but uh, I like to fool around with the drums and bass, and I did that in a youth group, and you know, but I wouldn't uh, go in the studio <laughs> last year for sure. I, I understand. Especially yeah. with Mike Navarro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's wonderful. Now, tell me about uh, something you shared with me. Uh, you, you were excited. You pulled out a Save the Date card for 2017. And I just saw Save the Date, John Wineglass, 2017. And then I saw the word San Bernardino. <laughs> right. what, what is going on? Yeah, the world is a small place. <laughs> um, I just had a piece commissioned. Um, uh, that premiered uh, in last month with the Monterey Symphony, um, and has gotten great reviews. Um, so Oakland Symphony is doing it, um, and the next concert will be um, with San Bernardino in October of next year. Um, it's gone on to Philadelphia, um, a couple of other orchestras that are thinking about doing it, and so we're in contract negotiations right now with that stuff. But. But who, go figure, I'm on the board of the Association of California Symphony Orchestras, and one of the um, board presidents, he's a board president of the Santa Bernardino um, um, Symphony. And so he called me, he flew up, heard my piece, and said we have to program it for the opening of our, 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 um, our, our season next season. So that's what's opening awesome. season. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I can't wait yeah. to hear you. And that's going to be at the California Theater uh, there in downtown San Bernardino. Yeah. Now, if somebody wants to get tickets to that, right. how do they do that? Uh, you go to um, San Bernardino Symphony, uh, dot org. Uh, it'll Their information will shortly be on there pretty soon. Um, and it's funny, their offices are right down the street from here. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, we're in the backyard just... for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Well, uh, The Rock is definitely going to represent, yeah. and uh, we're going to be telling people about that. Um, we we want to support anything that you're, you're into. Now, tell me about the piece. What was the inspiration? How did oh, you yeah. get that? What was the process? How was the create, give, give me yeah. the creative juices yeah. behind yes. it. Yeah. Yes, the, the piece is based off an area uh, in California called Big Sur. Beautiful. People yeah. all over the world know of. I was just in... 
uh, um, the French Alps, and my oh. house guest was like, where are you from? I said, I'm from Central California. He said, Big Sur? He said, yes. <laughs> he said, you, are, you know beauty. Yeah. And here yeah. I am in the French Alps. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's pretty nice. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but he said, you guys, you know, we don't have the ocean, is that he said. Yeah. And so yeah. I said, wow, yeah. So I spent um, a, about a total of about uh, two months down there at a ranch by myself. Um, about 1,500 acres, which was just me and the gym, the, the ranch hand. <laughs> mm. And uh, no cell phone, no television, no nothing, you know, basically, and just shut in and, uh, and wrote this piece on the beauty of God's creation and, and Big Sur. Yeah. Well, any place to see the beauty of God's creation. I, I, I've driven through and, and stopped and paused and had my breath taken away right. in Big Sur. Uh, definitely the, the, the highway there right. and, and highway the one. waves crashing into the mountainscapes. I mean, it's just yeah. gorgeous. So I can imagine uh, what sort of inspiration. Now, now, how do you get... Your, your inspiration as far as musically, do you do you hear it beforehand? Do you have to play it? What's the process? I took a mini studio and set up down there. I had, I had keyboards and, you know, a little couple of things and screens and stuff for scores. Uh, but typically I'd take a laptop or so and go to like Pfeiffer Beach or Garapada, go to different areas and just kind of spend the day in, in, in meditation. And, uh, and I did everything in Big Sur, like meaning uh, I experienced the culture of Big Sur. Um, mm. Um, uh, the Ohlone Indian was, was, was the name of the, the tribe that existed there. Um, so I got to meet a lot of the indigenous um, um, people and, and, and had discussions about that, which I really kind of had no idea um, to the extent uh, that they existed in that area. And wow. So, so there's a piece that's kind of a homage to, 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 to their land and, uh, and then, uh, and then um, the beauty of God's creation and... and um, and yeah, so it's it's been an incredible journey um, with the Big Sur Land Trust, uh, is is a uh, land trust that I work with in, in conservation and and um, and easements, and I help raise money and fundraisers for them, and so this was another way of kind of doing that, and uh, it's it's been awesome. Now oh, that's excellent. That's excellent. Any any uh, scriptural inspiration with the Big Sur project? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say that God is love. Basically, you know that that, and in these times um, that we are in now. Um, this being the one-year anniversary of San Bernardino um, yeah. um, situation and um, things that have come up with the recent election, we, 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 we need to step back and objectively take a look at uh, life and think about loving one another. Um, despite our differences and things of that sort, you know, coming together and, 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 and experiencing God's love together. Absolutely. You know, you, you touched on the fact that it's the one-year anniversary of the terror attacks just down the street at the Inland Regional Center, and uh, I think it's an appropriate time just to tell any of our listeners that experienced that or who are hurting in the wake of that, uh, that exactly what John said, God is love. God loves you. He's there for you. Uh, I would encourage you, since it's 12 2 uh, take a look at Isaiah 12 2. You don't have to fear. God is your salvation. And, um, you know, we're, as a church, uh, we were one of the ones that opened our doors. Yes. And uh, just this morning, we were able to go and to be a part of the, the ceremony. They gave us a plaque in recognition of what we did that day. And, you know, we're not here for any of that. We, we don't care about any of that kind of stuff. It's, it's nice to be thanked. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we did that to share the love of Jesus. And, um, you know, we had people with tears in their eyes thanking us for opening our doors and for what we did. And so for our listeners out there, uh, know that we love you guys. We're here for you. Any way we can encourage you. And, yeah, as a nation, we need to gather together. Uh, we need to love one another and express the love of Jesus. John, how do you, in uh, the realm that you're in, I mean, you, you're an Emmy Award winner, not just one Emmy. <laughs> Three Emmys. You, you, you got three girls. Yeah. So well, five. Five. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I can't leave the wife and the daughter. But but my goodness. So uh, you're in this world, and uh, you're you're able to to connect with people, uh, probably uh, that that maybe we don't bump into every day. How do you be a witness in those arenas? Just live life with the fear of God. And, and I think people people will respect if you believe in something. Um, mm. It's 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 when you're kind of kind of uh, kind of you know uh, 
wavy wavy just kind of not committing to anything that, that people don't really magnetize to that but this piece I know you know talking about the beauty of, of God and things of that sort um, struck a chord for people and so um, that's that's my message basically you know um, is, 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 is loving God and, and being um, and, and, and being thankful. I was telling someone at lunch that this piece really would not have gotten finished without him. Like mm. the, the, he brings me to a point in every commission <laughs> where it's like, okay, all my ideas are... <laughs> mm. Okay, so if you don't write it, <laughs> then it's not going to get written. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. So, so it's, this is, it's, it's, you know, he brings me to the end of myself That's good. Uh, every time, and it's, it's humbling. Because that's where yours just know it's, it's him. Now you said that you've had people uh, respond to that. Mm-hmm. What what sort of responses have you seen? Uh, from uh, tears, basically, mm. and and I, you, we all know what that's about, you know. Yeah. Um, um, you know, uh, in the symphonic world, a lot of uh, music is. Uh, this would be interesting. Uh, Academic, and which means uh, in the academic sense of, of, of composition, atonality, which is um, is music that that serves with no tonality, no center. Hmm. And the music that I write, oftentimes, yes, I include elements like that to show, hey, yes, I understand your world, <laughs> uh, but. I bring it back to a tonal center. I bring it back to a place of centeredness and tonality in my work. And, and I think that's what speaks to people. It, what speaks to people when you listen to a lot of film music, it has a tonal center. Uh, and then I take that back to God being the center of anything. Mm. you know. And so to keep that center in music is, is, is a... Um, I appreciate atonality, I understand surrealism, and these are terms of composers and Schoenberg and Webern and that kind of stuff. Uh, but if we don't get back to the center of things, then, yeah. then we lose we lose all sense of self. Wow. So. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Now, thinking about that, you know, you're applying that to the symphony, mm-hmm. you're applying that to music. How, how does someone listening today apply that to their job? How do they apply that to being a single mom? How do they apply that to community? I apply it to life. I mean, it's the central foundation of life. And uh, finding that centeredness in God um, will help make everything else work out. Hmm. And, and that's from music, we'll be talking about music, we'll be talking about anything. It's, 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 um, he's the center of my joy, he's the center of, of my life. Wow. Well, it's just outstanding to uh, hear the things that God is doing in your life, John, and just know that we are so excited about your future and about what's ahead. Um, we're excited to see what's going to take place. And, uh, you know, we're definitely looking forward to tonight with the ladies yes. uh, at Girls Night Out. That'd be awesome. And um, I'm, I'm going to make sure that we get you back here next year uh, around that same time. Uh, and make sure to get you in the church services and we'll announce to the congregation what's taking place and what's happening and we're, we're going to be there for you rooting you on with tears in our eyes uh, just enjoying the beauty of, uh, of Big Sure and, and what God revealed to you there um, yeah. and, and listeners out there uh, if you guys have questions if you guys have anything that I'd like to send in as always hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, on Instagram you can send us an email email at rockchurch.com put in your message title uh, podcast and we will make sure to answer any of those questions whether it be about a sermon about a theological thing something about the bible practical living any of those things we're here for you guys and i just love you so much john thank you so much for being here today thank you for having me thank you and also just so you know for this um for the purpose of this podcast we can put a link to john's music um, on our on our Facebook or on the post for this podcast, and again, we, we so thank you. It's so great to hear um, how no matter what our talents or if you're not as musically inclined like myself, you know we're all able to put what God has given us to use for Him. Amen. So thank you, Rock Family. God bless you. We'll see you in church.